Um, I'm gonna be doing ICT lesson 9.2 and it's like 2 o'clock in the morning so you know, forgive me if I'm kind of going fast or like I'm hazy on some parts so what we're gonna be doing is something called a coach snowflake okay so before we do anything I'd like to make a distinction between its coach snowflake and a coach line uh, just so the people who don't need this tutorial can just move on with their lives okay a coach a coach curve right a coach curve is simply this okay or something like you guys got the picture okay it it is not equal to a snowflake okay which what, what, what people don't understand is a coach a coach snowflake is just three curves connected as as a triangle okay to be honest, a uh, coach curve is a little bit misleading because um, it's basically just a glorified line, okay? That's all it is, okay? We're just making a triangle. It's as simple as that. The problem with this is the lines aren't just lines. There are these weird little recursions that occur that make uh, little irregularities, but it's a lot simpler than you think, okay? So uh, if you're one of those people who already figure out how to make this like weird line thing, then all you got to do is draw the line, change the angle, draw the line, change the angle, draw the line, just like a normal triangle, okay? Anyways, I hope that clears up some early confusions. So <clears throat> let's get started. And just so you know, I'm going to be using Adobe Photoshop Elements Editor uh, just because this is a little bit of one of the tougher... Um, one of the tougher assignments okay so we're going to be making a curve okay and uh, just so you guys know whenever I program I pretend like uh, everything's working perfectly okay so when we make that new curve we're going to be calling a method called draw snowflake okay and for now, let's set the level to 2 and the length to 100 or something, okay? These are just arbitrary values. You can choose anything you want. I would just not choose anything above um, 8 or 9 for the level because that's when your computer is going to start running into problems, okay? Um, so what we're going to be doing here is first we got to make our um, constructor. Okay, and since we're drawing, before any of this, we have to declare our drawing tool. And this is going to be a private drawing tool. Okay, uh, when we do this, um, <clears throat> we're going to set our pen to a new drawing tool. Okay, so we just created the drawing tool new sketch pad okay we just created a new sketch pad and with the dimensions of 600 600 <coughs> okay let's move on to our coach snowflake public void because we're not returning any values <sighs> oh gosh coach snowflake So when we create our coach snowflake, we're going to be sending in the amount of like bumps we want and the length, okay? So let's call it the amount of bumps levels, okay? And the length, well, length, okay? When we draw coach snowflake, uh, we're going to be drawing three coach curves, okay? Remember, these are just glorified lines, okay? So we're going to be making a helper method called draw coach curve I would actually uh, prefer to rename this coach line but in all technicality it uh, uh, it's called a coach curve so we're gonna have to call that or yeah so anyways to draw a coach curve it also needs in a level and a length but just to clear up confusion between the level and length for coach curve and coach snowflake, we're going to be calling this integer n and double l. Okay, so these in essence represent the same 
parameters, okay? <clears throat> so let's just pretend like working. It's working. Everything about the coach curve is working, okay? So first we're gonna say my pen dot up, okay? Just to clear up any confusions, just in case we we're drawing something before or like sorry down or whatnot. Because what we're gonna be doing is setting my pen to the correct position. We're gonna be setting my pen to the correct direction and then putting it down. And then start drawing the, the, the triangle thing. Okay, so um, in essence, all we're doing is setting it, drawing the coach triangle, which is the same thing as a coach snowflake. Um, so, so coach snowflake is basically just a coach triangle, and a coach curve is basically just a coach line. If you can understand me, that's awesome. If you can't, just ignore your, everything I said. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, the way we're gonna set this is, let's say this is zero. 0, okay? We know we have an equilateral triangle, so let's draw that equilateral triangle, equilateral triangle. Okay, what we're going to be doing is we need to go down this much and we need to go across this much, okay? So we know one, every single side is L, right? And we know that in an equilateral triangle, all angles are equal to 60 degrees, and that includes this one, which means this angle is 30 degrees and since this is a perpendicular bisector this is 90 degrees and that means this is 60 degrees which means this uh, since this is a perpendicular bisector as well one side is equal to L divided by 2 okay if we look at uh, let me just color code this really quick Okay, if we look at uh, that same triangle, just rotated 90 degrees uh, clockwise, we'll see that <clears throat> it's a special triangle. Okay, and what do we know? The blue side. That's L divided by 2, right? But for now, let's just pretend we don't know anything, okay? So, this is 2x, x and x radical 3 okay this is true for all cases in a uh, 30 60 90 triangle okay no matter what you're going to have this okay so let's write an equation now okay our blue is x radical 3 and that's equal to l divided by 2 and what are we solving for this is the key problem a lot of people mess up on they they think oh uh, let's just multiply uh, l l divided by, by two to get like like this blue side because obviously l divided by two is x okay that's that's a problem because they're not fully understanding that this this is what your l divided by two is okay this is equal to this okay not x is not equal to l divided by two it's completely different so what are we solving for we're solving for x alone okay. To solve for x alone, we're going to be multiplying each side by radical three, uh, 1 over radical 3, which will cancel these out and give us x equals 1 over radical 3, okay? That's our little small side, okay? Oh, look, this side's the same thing. So we can conclude that this is L divided by 2 over radical 3, okay? Okay, so now that we figured that out, Remember, the bottom is L divided by 2 over radical 3, okay? The way we're going to move this is left by half the length. So, take the length and divide by 2 because recall that the blue side is L divided by 2 since the uh, perpendicular bisector cuts the length in half, okay? We're going to be going down. Oh, I'm sorry, since it's left, this has to be negative. 
and since we're going down this has to be negative as well and remember um, in programming in pretty much every single language um, it's just like a coordinate plane um, uh, let, let me explain that uh, after I finish this actually so um, okay so what we're doing right now is saying length divided by 2 recall length divided by 2 over radical 3 and remember 0 0.5 is the same thing as root okay so 3 root length divided by 2 length divided by 2 divided divided by root 3 okay so uh, what was the thing I wanted to tell you um, oh that's right uh, coordinate plane okay so we're finished with this let's erase this uh, now we have nothing um, in, a, in any programming language pretty much it's gonna work as a, a, a normal coordinate plane which means x is positive this way negative this way x it plus x minus and up is y plus y minus uh, by the same token um, that also means that 0 degrees faces this way and while we go this we're increasing angles which means this is 90 degrees 180 degrees and 270 degrees and this is 0 degrees or 360 so on and so forth okay a lot of people have a misconception that the top is 0 degrees which is really bad <laughs> so um, let's see <coughs> okay we set the uh, we set the position Next, let's set the direction. Um, let's set the direction to 60 degrees. Okay. So, in essentially, all we're doing, essentially, all we're doing is we set the center point. Okay. So this is zero zero. We're here right now. This is where we are, and we're setting the angle to 60 degrees. Right. And then after that, we're going to draw the line. Right now, we're going to draw the line, okay, to this point, And then we're going to we're going to turn the angle, draw the line, turn the angle, and then draw the line. Remember, this is just a glorified triangle. <clears throat> okay. Right now, when we draw the coach curve, okay, we're going to pretend like the coach curve works perfectly. And I can't stress this enough. A coach curve is just like a line, okay? Um, so what we're going to say is um, draw curve, draw coach curve, sorry, with the um, parameters level and length because it still needs those values to calculate its uh, weird line shape, okay? So what we're going to do right now is, right now we've drawn this. This is what we've drawn, okay? We have to turn this much. We have to do this angle change. So the way we're going to do this angle change is my pen dot turn right 120 degrees, okay? And we're going to repeat this, okay? Uh, what we're doing in essence is just draw coach curve, turn, draw coach curve, turn, draw coach curve, and we're done. Okay. Um, so now here comes the hard part. Just so you guys know, um, this tutorial is going to be a little bit longer than usual since uh, this lesson is in fact harder. <coughs> okay. So uh, let's see. Remember how I was saying it's just uh it's just a line. So there there's our coach curve, okay? When our n is equal to zero, okay? When n equals one, that's what we got. When n equals two, okay, this is what we have. And you can tell already, this is taking me much longer. This is where recursion is super useful. Uh, Wow, do that really good actually. Uh, anywho, 
Uh, I hope you notice a pattern right now um, that N1 is a pattern of N2, and I'll explain that in a second. So all we're doing when we draw the the coach curve is go. Uh, hmm, how do I explain this? We're going one third length forward. This is one third of its length. Okay. We're going one third of its length here. We're going one third of its length here, and then one third of its length here. Okay. I think uh, it's safe to conclude that you guys know why. Uh, also, you can notice right here that if this is an equilateral triangle, correct? That means this is 60 degrees, which means the exterior angle is 120 degrees. And um, when we turn out this way, uh, that should be 300 degrees. And when we turn out this way, that is also 120 degrees, okay? So the way we're going to be doing this is draw draw another coach uh, draw another line special line thing that has one third of its length change the angle draw the line change the angle draw the line change the angle draw the line okay we're done with we're done with our uh temporary level okay and then we're going to go into another sub level draw the line draw the line uh draw the line draw the line so on and so forth okay and uh, until uh until the level reaches zero okay so it's going to keep repeating this process and making all those little bumps, so on and so forth, okay? But um, if you guys notice right here, this, this segment, little segment, this one-third segment is the same thing as N1. If you can conceptually understand that, then you're, you're in a really good shape right now, okay? So, <clears throat> when we draw these coach curves, first we have to uh, always write our uh, case break. And that's when our level is zero. That's when we have no more levels to draw, okay? That means we're done. Else, we have to draw it, okay? We have to keep going on sub-levels and keep going, okay? And uh, remember, we have to keep decreasing the level, so on and so forth, until it reaches its uh, case break. So, what we're going to do is say, um, draw curve, level minus one, or n minus one. My bad. Uh, and the length of three. Re recall that uh, we're only drawing one third of its length, and we're sending down one level lower. Okay. My pen dot turn left, sixty degrees. We're just changing the the uh, angle right now. So turn left is equivalent to the 180 degrees, uh, 120 degrees we wrote right here, okay? Um, if you guys can't understand why turn left is 120, is equal to 120 degrees like that, think about it this way. Right now we drew one third of its length, correct? Okay, right now its direction is set upward, okay? If we turn left, left is that way, right? If we turn left, 60 degrees, turn left to 60 degrees, Oh, look, it's the same as 120 degrees. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to be drawing another one of those special lines or subline, uh, sub lines. Um, and we're going to be turning 130 degrees that way. Um, by the same idea, we're going to be turning right, uh, uh, mm, let's see, right 120 degrees. Uh, if you understand this first uh, first segment, then you should understand why we're turning right 120 degrees. So let's write that in. My pen dot turn right 120. Okay, and draw that line again. Okay, now now where we're at is right here. So we've turned, and now we're here. Okay. So now we have to turn this way. So if you remember, if we if you understand this 120 degrees part, you should understand this part. Uh, why it should be turn uh, turn left 60 degrees, and then we're gonna draw that last one third part. Okay, and then okay, let's let's just do that, and I'll explain a little bit more.
Okay, so we just turned left and we're drawing that last curve. Okay, so um, if you re recall, our levels aren't done, but our s our visual levels are done. Okay, so what I mean by that is, okay, this basic shape is done. Okay. Oh, wait, no, now I have to draw another coach curve, but it calls upon the same method to draw that coach curve. Oh, look, everything finishes for us, okay? This is the beauty of recursion. It makes everything... It, it shortens the code by so many folds, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. <clears throat> so, actually, we're pretty much done. This final, uh, this final part, we're going to say my pen dot um, forward I think it's length this is just to finish off this last segment of curve uh, so when our level reaches zero our blueprints to draw the coach curve has been finished out and we're going to actually draw it okay hmm level oh it should be n okay um, sorry, <laughs> both of these should be, uh, the correct, uh, variables. Um, wow, lots of spe spelling errors. <clears throat> lots of spelling errors. <sighs> if I did this correctly, it should run. If not, then I am a total failure. Oh! <laughs> All right. So let's see. <laughs> All right. So hopefully this runs. Uh, okay. Awesome. If you guys can see right now, it is in fact drawing. And let's just raise that to six. Okay. You guys can start really appreciating the beauty of recursion because it saves you so much time. It's ridiculous. See, even on fast, the computer's uh, having some trouble uh, drawing such a complex curve because there's so many recursions to go through. Uh, but just for time's sake, let's go through no delay. And there's our little snowflake. So anyways, guys, uh, there's your lesson for today. So I'll see you guys next time. Comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, see you guys later.